probabilities. 0 0.37 if we have 0 client. Probability na may 1 client tayo, 0 0.34. In the system to, no? Probability na we have 2 clients is 0 0.15 and so on and so forth. And pagdating dito, nagzi-zero na siya. Pimiliit na. Same with the cumulative. Ito po yung naka-table form, no? Grinagraph lang natin. Yun yung pinapakita ng software. Same with cumulative 1, nag-start ng 0.37. Then, kung ano yung probabilities ng pangalawa, 0.34 something plus 0.37, ayun yung value dito. No, 0.71. Now, this 0.71 plus kung ano yung probability ng pangatlo, which is 0.1561, ayun po yung value nito, 0.868. Kaya siya cumulative, paangat ng paangat, up to the point na pagdating dito, no, almost close to 100 na siya. Nagpa-flatten na kasi, nag, kasi dito, nagzi-zero naman. No, balik tayo. Alright, so good day everyone. Welcome to our discussion regarding the application of our Model 2 which is the MMM with the third M, small third M, under the queuing theory. Okay, so let's start our discussion. For the Model number 2, again, this is MMM. The notation represents as the arrival distribution for the first M is Poisson distribution. And the service time distribution is the exponential distribution, just like our model 1, which is the MM1. But the only difference here in the model 2 is that the number of service channels open here is 2. Okay, and aside sa 2 guys, 2 lang ang ginamit natin for the manual. But you can actually have here 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, any other numbers, no? E, pwede nyo palitan ito. Kung ilan man yung gusto nyo, na open na service channels or yung server natin sa ating queuing system. Okay? And actually, in the POMQM software, it actually have the results if ever you wanted to have three servers, four servers, five servers, and etc. Okay? So, let's start having our example. Same example on our manual discussion before. We have here Angie, the branch manager of Citibank, and she wants to improve the service of the bank by hiring an additional teller. She observed that the average arrival and the average number of clients serviced per teller per hour remains the same. Okay? Figures are summarized in the table below. What is the probability that there are no clients? How much clients are in the bank at any given time? How much time does clients spend in the bank? How many clients are waiting to be served? And how much time does a client spend waiting? Lastly, what is the probability that a teller is busy? So we have here the data table. Again, for the number of tellers, we have 2. For the arrivals per hour, we have 11 arrivals per hour. And the service per hour per teller is 12. For the statistics table, we have here the computed values using our manual solutions before. For the probability that there are no clients, that is 0 0.37. Katumbas po niyan, yung probability that the teller is BC. Okay, which is 0 0.37. 45. Now, the number of clients in the system is 1.16. Average hours client spends in the system is 0 0.1055. Average clients waiting online and not included dito yung mga nasa servers is 0 0.2437. And the average waiting hours per client is 0 0.0222 hours. Okay, so ito po yung ating statistics table and katumbas niyan we also have here the data table for the costing naman now we have here the five dollars per hour na service cost ito yung labor cost ng ating tailor ng teller tailor <laughs> ng ating teller guys and for the cost of waiting we have here six dollars per hour that is cw and of course, 8 hours working out, uh, working time no per shift ang meron tayo. And based on our manual computation, hindi ko na pinapakita yung manual computations dahil nga this is the application of POMQM software. For the total cost there, we have $11.46 per hour. Okay, so let's go to our POMQM software and let's apply this uh let's apply this example on the software itself, okay? So let's go now to our software. So we are now here on the POMCOM software. First of all, na dapat po natin gawin is 
of course, iset natin yung module into waiting lines. There's no queuing theory po dito, tulad nung nabanggit ko before, no? Dahil hindi ayun yung term na gamit, tulad nyo nung nabanggit ko, queuing introduction natin on our presentation on that topic. Uh, queuing theory is also called as waiting lines. So, click natin, waiting lines, then go to file and new. So, since this is MM2, uh, or MMM rather na model, that is also the same with number 5 na model sa ating software, which is MMS. S here stands for server, number of servers, okay? So, let's uh, have here Citibank 3 and 4, since this is continuation problem, no? And with cost tayo, use cost and click okay. Okay, now, for the arrival, we have here, ang arrival rate natin is 11. For the service per hour per teller, that is 12. And for the number of servers, 2 tayo. No, ilalagay po natin 2 dito, pero the software will also compute for the next number of servers, which are 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on and so forth. Okay, now for the server cost, based on our given problem regarding the costing, our service cost per teller is five dollars per hour yun yung labor cost niya same po yun and for the cost of waiting we have here six dollars per hour so review nyo muna yung mga inputs kung tama no again we have 11 12 2 5 and 6 so tama naman you can now click the button solve okay so upon clicking the button solve guys as you can see balik tayo sa ating powerpoint we have here P sub 0, 0.37 L. Yung L po dito is just the same with L sub S ng ating software. And also, yung W dito is just the same with the W sub S ng software. Ang tinutukoy kasi nun is yung number of clients in the system. Kaya may sub S doon. Pwede, pwede rin naman natin lagyan ito ng sub S if you want. No? And the average hours clients spends in the system or yung waiting hours ng client sa buong system kaya W sub S yung gamit doon but it is just the same value 1.16 and 0 0.1 L sub Q, W sub Q and Rho is 0 0.24 point twenty two and 0 0.45 so check natin if the same ang ating result okay, ito tayo average server utilization guys, same siya ito po yung probability that the teller is busy, 0 0.45 6 or 4583 doon sa ating PowerPoint dito kasi naka 2 decimal siya. So same lang 'yan. Ah uh, LQ 0.24 same 1.16 LS same WQ 0.02 same WS 0.11 same labor cost. Balik tayo labor cost that is 11.46. This labor cost per hour guys is just the cost for waiting and not kasama yung ating nasa server, yung whole system. Nasa waiting lang po ito, 11.46 or 47. Kaya ito yung sagot dito, no 11.46. Yung nasa system as a whole is 16.96, including the uh, costing natin ng interaction mismo ng teller and the client na currently sineserve. Yung that is 16.96. Now, sabi ko kanina, we started with the 2. Ito po yun na K natin. No, sabi natin, if our probability of zero, check natin sa PowerPoint presentation, probability na wala tayong client is 0 0.37. Nasaan po yun pagdating sa software? Actually, ito siya. When our K is zero, K is the client, no, yung dating ng client, if that is the case, zero tayo, ang probability niya, is 0.37. Now, the probability number in system, that is the N, is less than or equals to K. 0.37 then. Since wala naman na masababa pa na 0, sa 0, no, na dating ng client, hindi naman tayo pwedeng maglagay ng client na negative 1. No, there's no such thing as negative 1 client. Also, there's no such thing as negative 2 client. Meron pa yung 0 client or no client. Or rather, yung mga positive integers like 1 client, 2 client, 3 client. I hope you get it, guys. And of course, yung kabalik natin niya, probability that the number in system is greater than k, what is the k again? Zero. That is 0 0.63. If you'll add 0 0.63 and 0 0.37, total is 1. Or 100%. Dahil ulitin ko po, in the world of probabilities, that is just between 0 and 1. Okay? Now, kung titignan natin, guys, kung titignan natin, table of probabilities po natin, 
0.37.34, pababa ng pababa yung probability natin na mag-occur yung ganong case natin depende sa value of k. And pagdating ng 6, you know, there's no probability na na mangyari yun. Ibig pong sabihin, sinasabi lang dito sa ating queuing model na to, na at maximum of 5 na yung average number na tao na nasa loob ng buong bangko. Dahil ginawa nating dalawa ang ating uh, server or ating tellers. No? So, nabawasan na. Mas mabilis na sila ngayon. That is the table of probabilities. And katumbas po niyan, yung ating uh, tawag dito, yung ating... Kaya ito, guys, no? before ko ituloy yung binabanggit ko. Kaya ito, yung probability ng number in system is less than or equals to k. Starting 6, 7, 8, pataas, puro 1 na siya. Ibig sabihin, 5 pababa, 5 papuntang 0, yung probability na mataas tayo na magkaroon. Pagdating ng 6, uh, wala na. 100% na kasi na nandito. 0% na yung probability na mag o siya. Ito kasi is exact. Ito is less than. Ito is greater than. Balik tarang tong dalawang yan. And counterpart niyan, tulad ng ating first part na POMCOM software application using our model number 1. Ito po ang, ang graph niya. Uh, sorry, ito ang graph. Mamaya ako ipakita yun, no yung isa. Ito yung probabilities. 0 0.37 if we have 0 client. Probability na may 1 client tayo, 0 0.34. In the system to, no? Probability na we have 2 clients is 0 0.15 and so on and so forth. And pagdating dito, nag-zero na siya. Pimiliit na. Same with the cumulative. Ito po yung naka-table form, no? Graph lang natin. Yun yung pinapakita ng software. Same with cumulative 1, nag-start ng 0.37. Then, kung ano yung probabilities ng pangalawa, 0.34 something plus 0.37, ayun yung value dito. No, 0.71. Now, this 0.71 plus kung ano yung probability ng pangatlo, which is 0.1561, ayun po yung value na ito, 0.868. Kaya siya cumulative, paangat ng paangat, up to the point na pagdating dito, no, almost close to 100 na siya. Nagpa-flatten na kasi, nag, kasi dito, nag-zero naman. No, baliktaran lang din yan. And at cumulative, of course, we have the cumulative. Ito naman po siya, pababa na siya doon. Okay? So, I hope you get it. Let's go now sa ating last na solution window. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, guys. If the number of servers is 1, the total cost is 65.5. This is just the same with our total cost on the model number 1, yung 65.5. Sa waiting, kapag sa system, ito, more likely yan naman, lahat yan mas mataas. Kung lahat na nandito, mas mataas dito. No, pero kung titingnan nyo po, since this is MMS or MMM model, yung sa atin nilagay natin na number of servers is 2. That is equivalent to 11.46. No, ayun yung na-compute natin sa manual computation natin na ito, 11.46. Total cost per hour ng waiting. If idadagdag natin yung costing ng, ng nasa server currently, that is 16. And as you can see, kapag tatlo ang server natin, nagiging 15 yung cost, 4, 20, 5, 25. Kapag 1, matlaki din, 65. Meaning to say, our optimal number of servers now is the number 2. Okay, I hope you get it. Kaya ayun yung nakikita natin na okay sa ganyang setup nila. Of course, nakadepende yan sa arrival rate and sa service rate. Okay? So that is basically how we can explain the skewing theory model number 2 MMM or in the software that is MMS using the POMQM software. I hope you learned from this presentation. Guys, see you on our next topic. Now, God bless on your IE journey. Enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy the rest of the week. Again, thank you and keep safe always. Bye-bye.